everybody welcome to my channel for those of you that are new my name is Tracy Reed and this is acrylic pouring with friends and I just want to welcome you all to today's video so let's get started today I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas and I've got some pretty pretty colors here purples and greens, different uh, shades of purples and greens, so I'm going to go over them for you really, really quick. I have got this purple right here. It's a mixture of a couple different purples. Um, I've got uh, from Liquitex Basics Purple Gray Dioxazine, or excuse me, Violet from the Fine Touch, and also uh, another one, but I don't have the bottle anymore. It was Blick Deep Violet. This one here is a purple, um, like a plum metallic that I just mixed up uh, with some colors from, I've had it for a little while, so I thought I would use it up in today's, with these colors that I'm using today. This one here is from Liquitex Basics. It's a phthalo green. And then I've got a darker purple, and that's two um, mixed together, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine purple. And then the fine touch uh, violet as well. And then this awesome, awesome um, iridescent green yellow from Pebio. And then I just have a regular green, um, and that's from the fine touch. And then the last color that I'm using, you can see that here. It's such a pretty, pretty gold. It's from Liquitex, and it's their new um, gold metallic medium. And I've used this in a few videos now. And um, I really, really am liking it. So I mixed up a little bit more, you can see. And the way that I mixed that, because um, you can mix it with paint and then pouring medium as well, but this is just regular um, straight with pouring medium. So I put it one to one, a ratio of one to one. So one part of the Liquitex gold metallic medium with one part pouring medium. Now for me, my pouring medium is Liquitex, pouring medium flow trial water and a little bit of golden GAC 800 uh, for those of you that use flow trial only um, you probably will have to add a little bit of water to that as well I can show you uh, the consistency of this and it's um, it's thin but it still makes a, a mound and then it quickly quickly disappears um, and that's what I've used in uh, my other videos where I used this and it's worked really really good so I'm gonna continue with that um, ratio of one to one and I have my cloud mix here as well and that is mixed with I have bare satin enamel ultra pure white and I actually I have two different cloud mixes but this one has the Vallejo uh, Pearl Medium that I'll be using in this one today. And I do have a mixing video for that, so that'll be uh, linked or posted in the comments so you can go check that out. And I'm gonna be using my 10 ounce spouted cup. I use this a lot. <laughs> this is my favorite cup, so I love that one. And I have, I want to show you guys, I've got some new colors. Super, super pretty. I've got a teal and then a silky blue. Um, trying out some new colors and um, really, really liking those. So if you're interested in any of my 3D printed stuff, I do have some cups in those new colors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here. All of the regular paints that I'm using besides the my a cloud effect mix and the gold um, metallic medium are mixed two parts well we'll just go one part paint to two and a half ish parts pouring medium and I when I say ish it's not to be confusing or anything but it's because some of the paints have a thicker or more of a heavy body or a medium body as opposed to a softer or a craft paint and that's where you have to kind of learn as you go um, on the consistency that works for you so um, like I said this is 
about two to two and a half. Um, and the way that I, I kind of from you know from doing it for a while, I know the feel of it as well because not only is it you pull your stick out and you see how it runs off the stick, you have to kind of get the feel of it as well. And and for those of you that are new, you'll learn that. So it's just um, kind of a trial and error. And since I've been doing this for over three and a half years, coming up to four, I um, you know I've had a lot of. Uh, fails and and when I say fails I don't necessarily mean that it was a, a complete loss I, um, I I chalk that up to learning so if if you've learned something um, from a painting that you think might be a fail it really isn't um, you may not like it but as long as you learn something it's never really a fail so that's the way I look at it try to put a positive spin uh, on it so all right, and I'm just uh, layering, layering these in here, and if you notice, I'm pouring down the spout because that's the way that I'm going to be pouring out. So that's how I like to do. That's how I like to do that. All right, so I'm just going to continue to layer these in here, and um, for those of you that don't know, I have. A, I have more social media. <laughs> I have a um, Instagram and a Facebook uh, group. They're both called Acrylic Pouring with Friends, which makes it super, super easy for you to find because it is the same name as my YouTube channel. Um, my Facebook group is awesome. I'm nearing, I think I'm pretty close to 21,000 members. It's awesome. And if you you know you can go and just post your stuff you can post your you know your links if you have um, a YouTube channel and if you have questions I have so many helpful members that if I can't answer or I don't see the question um, somebody's usually there to give you a really good answer so if you're looking for you know uh, acrylic pouring Facebook group go check that one out all right guys I'm just gonna continue to keep keep layering and then I'll start pouring here in a second this is a, a 10 ounce or so it takes a, a little bit of paint so we'll see I'm, I'm excited to see how these colors um, blend together. I've only ever done one other, oops, I'm going to go with gold again, one other um, painting with just purple and greens, and it was a long, long time ago. I actually still have it. I found it the other day. I had done it on a, um, a glass picture frame, and I actually still have it, so it turned out pretty good. It's collecting dust that was kind of hidden. <laughs> I, I accidentally found it because I have a lot of paintings in my room. So um, I think I'm going to skip the cloud mix. Um, I put it in twice. I, I tried to not put so much because a lot of times that cloud, uh, cloud mix, it loves to... Uh, make clouds that is for sure I think that's one of the reasons why I really like this mix because um, I love clouds so that's just me not everybody likes cloud pours I happen to love them so that's that that's how that is <laughs> all right I'm almost to the top here and that's enough pretty much for me I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way and then I can get this poured on there. All right, now I'm just gonna turn it and then I'll pour straight out this way. All right guys, here we go.
little close up for you guys. I do apologize for the glare, but you can really see the lines look amazing. And look at that metallic purple, so, so pretty. And of course, the clouds look amazing. I did lose my gold, but you can see it's got a little shimmer to it still. All right, like it so far. We'll see it when it dries. All right, everybody, so here we go with the dried photos. And I am really happy with how this dried. It looks super dramatic. I love how the purple has come up through the cloud effect mix. Um, I did lose my gold, so I'm a little disappointed about that. And um, I do think a nice coat of varnish will make this painting pop. Maybe some embellishments or some gemstones may look pretty as well. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And for those of you that have subscribed to my channel, it really, really does mean a lot. Uh, I do appreciate it, all your support. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, I do hope that I can earn your subscription today. And don't forget also, if you liked the video, to give it a thumbs up. And also to share it if you think someone may like it. And don't forget guys, if you are interested in any acrylic pouring tools, to check out acrylicpouringtools.com. And I've got a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one.